Hi everyone, I'm finally back. So I've been away with the family. We went to Coz in Greece. My tan's probably washed away now. <laughs> but yeah, um, when we come back, I actually caught a chest infection. I am better now. My voice is slowly coming back. Also, I do have a microphone now, so hopefully no more wind noise. So in today's video, I want to start off by giving the A6 a quick jet wash as it is quite dirty, dust, etc. Once we've done that, bring the car back round the back get on axle stands and we can start stripping down the car seeing as this car is a category s we'll see if there is any structural damage on the car so i've not done anything to the car since the last video so we'll get now on time lapse and get jet washing this car so and one thing quickly i do have an instagram account if you didn't know it's nathan underscore highly i will also leave a link in the description to the instagram account so before I start jet washing the car, I will be putting a bin bag over the headlight. Not to save the headlight as it's already broken, as you can see the lens, there's nothing. So what I will do, the reason I'm putting the bin bag, because the modules for this headlight are working all fine. I don't want no water to get through into these areas to where the modules plug into the headlight. So I've put in a bin bag just to cover so no water can get through so then that saves the modules getting damaged. I just thought I'd let you know. So now I'll get on time-lapse. I'll get the Copart stickers off the car and give it a snow foam and a shampoo. So that's how you tint a headlight. <laughs> Only joking, but uh, yeah, so that's all covered up now. I'll, if you watch the reveal video on this A6, there was also a airbag crash sensor wire. I've also tucked that, and well, I'll put it back now, but yeah, I've tucked that underneath the bin bag so that doesn't get wet. So now it's ready to jet wash down. So I'll take the stickers off quickly now on time lapse and snow foam shampoo and a quick dry. So on these Audis too, for me to put the wipers up for when I wash the car, you can't just physically put them up. You need to go in the settings on the menu. So if I go to systems, Servicing and checks, wiper position. That then puts them up and then I can lift them up so I can wash the window properly. So the missus see me uh, washing the A6 and <laughs> look what I ended up having to do, giving her a car a quick clean. So that's the missus car clean, that keeps the peace. So it's only fair if I've washed the missus car, I had to do my car. So that's three cars now washed, I was supposed to strip down the A6 today. Worst case, I'll see how light it is, as it is a bit dark, I don't know if it's trying to going to try and rain or what, but worst case, I will strip down the A6 tomorrow. It will be in this video anyway. So that's the car all clean now. It's not spotless. When the car's done, I will be spending about a day or two. I need to, uh, there's quite a bit of tar at the bottoms of the doors. I want a clay bar and machine polish the whole car. Probably before it goes for, for paint, to be honest. 
But yeah, so now that's all clean and dry, I'll now position the car to where I want it and get it on axle stand so we can start tearing down this front end. So I've now got the car on axle stands, which means I can take the wheels off now, both sides, and get the arch liners off. Uh, one, I had a comment on the reveal video, which, good spot. I can't remember the name of the person who stated, they stated that the wing was a different color, which they are correct. So on the whole car, this is the only part of the car that's previously had paint. The wing, the paint job ain't the best, the metallic. I ain't got a clue who painted this wing, but yeah, it's not the best. And this wing has got a bit of damage to the end here. So this wing, I've already bought two brand new wings, genuine wings. So I'm gonna be replacing both wings. So just thought I'd let you know that's why I'm taking the driver's wing off as well. So on these A6s, the arch liners are held in by torque screws, plastic 10 millimeter nuts. That's the dry shaft, uh, I can't speak. <laughs> That's the dry shaft shield. So it's got two, one either side. I'll just move the brake hose. You can see just here, one plastic clip, another plastic 10 millimeter nut, another one up here. And normally you'd have a taut screw going through round about this area. Obviously that's gone on this one as it's damaged. But um, so I'm gonna get the arch liner out now. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. If you remember on the reveal video, I stated I couldn't undo this door because the wing was touching the door. So what I've done, I've un these are T30 torques. I've undone the top ones. And one of the lower ones just here. So I could uh, move the wing forward to get the door open. So then I've uh, unbolted the screen washer bottle, which is held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. And then at the top, you just need to move the scuttle panel. The washer spout with the filter, that's held in by two T30 Torx. One goes here and one goes here. So then that pulls out from the side just here. The reason I've had to move that out, you'll see, if you can see this plastic cover piece just here. So what I've the reason why I've had to undo the wing to move it forward, because you have to come inside the car now Hopefully you can see it one second. I'll let the camera focus. There's a black, where my finger's pointing now, there's a plastic clip there. You need to push the middle through. There's one at, just around here, and there's one at the bottom. Once you've pushed them out, then you can remove that black plastic trim, which then you'll gain access to two more screws there's also one more screw just here for the wing. So I've now pushed the centre of the plastic clips from the inside of the car. You'll see now, if I get an angle, you can see the middle sticking out now. And there's also one here. So I'll get that plastic trim on, then I'll get the uh, camera on the tripod so we can get the wing removed. So that plastic trim's now removed. If you were going to do this job yourself, have a can of brake cleaner aside as this bolt here for the wing, there was so much dirt, as you can see here from the road, that screw was filled right with dirt. So I just moved move my head back, just spray it brake clean, it cleared it out. So now I've removed the plastic trim. That's exposed the second lower wing bolt at the back. You've got one just here and then one here. So I'm gonna get them undone there, T30 Torx if you need to know. I've left one bolt just here so this wing don't flap everywhere. But um, the two bolts just up here are removed. It's the only ones I need to remove now on the wing. Normally you'd have one on the wing bracket but that doesn't exist at the minute. So I've got the T30 Torx screws at the top and then one just in this area where I did show in the top of the wing, uh, when you open the door. So, 
I'm going to get the wing off now. Normally I'll take the bumper off first, but as you see, the bumper is already off on this corner. So I thought I'll take the wing off first, then we'll get the bumper off, then the driver's wing. Also, by the way, I did just temporarily put the scuttle panel back on just so it's out of the way. So I'm going to, I've got Torx T30 here. Get this wing off now. Like I did say a second ago, I did already slacken these off so I could undo the door without damaging it. open now I'll get this bolt done I bet this one will be tight I haven't slackened this one off so yeah she's tight There we go, some pressure on that. Get this one out, undo that one at the bottom where I left in, and the wing should be ready to come off. There we go. What we're stuck on here, okay, two seconds. Okay, so it is still mounted there. So. Bear me a second, 10 mil. I'll get the extension, it's a bit long, but it'll do. I've got two 10 mil bolts that goes into this wing bracket, if I can get onto this one, I think I'm going to have to get a spanner. Hopefully it's 10 mils there. Right. I didn't, I didn't think this was still going to be attached, but it still is. Hopefully this bolt will still come. There we go, I can get on it now. Is that freedom off? This wing proved me wrong. I still was holding on the bracket. It's just where it's curled round. There we go. One wing off. I ain't gonna jinx my luck yet, but there is no structural damage behind this wing. Which is, you know, really good news. Obviously we've still got the front behind the bumper, but we'll get there now. So to take the bumper off, I can't really show you this side because it's already hanging off. You would take this front uh, radiator top grill plastic cover off. That's just held in by two plastic clips and it's literally just clipped in to the front grill a few clips going along if you can see what I'm trying to show you once you've done those two clips you have a bolt here a bolt here and then normally I can't show you the passenger side when this focuses there's a bolt here 
and if you see this hole here there is a torx bolt that goes through that goes into this corner just here so ah and last thing normally there is screws underneath the bumper holding it onto the front panel but i'll just show you it's all ripped off on this but it's not damaged the front panel from what i can see when i was jacking the car up but we'll have a closer look when i get this bumper off but normally there is torque screws going along that bolt into the front panel So now the bumper's off, I'm going to remove the headlight. There is no fixing mounts left on this headlight, so it is loose. So all I need to do is undo this wiring harness just here, so it just unplugs. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. And this is what I was saying. I've got a module just here and one underneath. The, um, the only thing that wasn't working was the Xenon bulb, which hopefully the bulbs just broke. Worst case, it will be the module, but the rest of the headlight was working. So the daytime running lights and the indicators. So that, apart from the modules, the rest of the headlight is ready for the bin. So I was just having a quick look in this area. Uh, the front panel, this side, is not damaged, hasn't touched the crush bar at all. This bracket is bent. I was just having a look on this side where that bracket bolts up to. That bolts up to the wing bracket. So we'll need a bracket for the passenger side, a wing bracket as well. If you can see there, that's the crush sensor for the driver's side. The crush sensor is still there. Obviously, I'm going to replace it. It's just here, so that's where that wire should plug into. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get on time-lapse and remove the driver's wing. Just before I put on time-lapse, this is what I need to do. I need to clear all this mud out. It's a good thing as well for the car though, because obviously me having to take the wing off, I've got to remove all this mud. That will prevent it rusting out because obviously mud ho holds water, which is moisture. But yeah, I'm gonna, but when the whole front end is stripped down, I will be jet washing these areas so they're nice and clean. So I'm going to get on time lapse now. So that's pretty much all the damaged parts now removed off the car. There's a couple of little brackets like this one here, but I can remove that off camera. So this car is a categorized as a category S, which means structural damage. I can confirm there is no structural damage on this car. I'll just move the washer bottle. So the chassis leg, which starts here and goes all the way back to the bulkhead, it's not being touched at all, no kinks creases there is that factory bulge mark um the top where the wing bolts up same again not being touched so i will have to order some little bits like this wing bracket just here uh, the plastic guide where the bumper goes onto the wing this bracket obviously two wings bumper headlight and probably some little miscellaneous parts but yeah, it's really good news. There is no structural damage on this. It's not touched the crash bar at all or the crash bar extension, as you can see. I did have to speak over this a little bit because I think my battery was dying on my phone, which then the mic went a bit weird, but that's why I'm just speaking over this. But yeah, the front panel is not damaged at all. That little bracket just here, that is from the original headlight which i'll take off when we put a new headlight on the condenser is fine as well 
intercooler, not a mark on it. That's the ambient temperature sensor, so the outdoor temperature. Same again, all good. The front panel, there's no damage. That part just here is from the bottom of the bumper. I'll take that off when we put the new bumper on. But yeah, I'm really surprised because, you know, when you bid on a Category S car, you've got to expect there could be structural damage, bent chassis, leg, etc. And, you know, I was thinking as well, maybe a damaged front panel, but so far, so good. I think this one's going to be a nice, easy repair. So behind the driver's wing, same again, all good. So that driver's wing, I guess they just had that repair. It might have had a dent or a scuff. They've had it painted, but poorly. Uh, and if you remember, I did state it did have some damage at the bottom of the wing near the headlight. That's why in the intro, I drove the car with the bump hanging off. One I wouldn't thing I did do forget that. to mention. It's on the front bumper. Obviously, you know the bumper's no good. But there is a few bits we can save of this bumper. So driver's side lower grille. Parking sensor, headlight washer jet, tow and eye cover. I've got the front grille, I've got the parking sensors in the grille, and parking sensor's not damaged. So I need a obviously a bumper, this grille, headlight washer jet. I'm gonna need a headlight washer jet as well. Sorry, headlight washer jet cover. And where's the pipe gone? I need a headlight washer jet for here, but so that's going to be an end to today's video. I think, you know, it's brilliant news that there is no structural damage. And also now I know what little parts I need to order. So I'm going to get them ordered. So the next video on this will be panning the car up so that it's ready to go to the body shop. Let us know in the comments what you think, how the car's coming along. And did you think there was going to be structural damage on this one? So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did like today's video, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. And also, I think I'm about 150 subscribers of 4,000. You know, that's a massive achievement. And I appreciate everyone who is subscribed to the channel. I really do. But yeah, hopefully next video my voice will be back. But yeah, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. And also, have a look at my Instagram account, Nathan underscore highly you'll see a little video where I've got some of the parts for this car already. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.